Bank Kuljetes Shkal ko aplikacioni në bankës Pro Credit dhe paguaj profi në përmjet telefonit mobil Android Pro Credit Bank Shumë profi Welcome back, everyone, uh, to our uh, main credit, uh, to the ProCredit main stage. Moving on from our first presentation of the day, uh, it's time for our first discussion, panel discussion of the day, on the topic e-commerce and e-payments, the heroes that we all need. Uh, this topic was sponsored by ProCredit Bank, uh, our uh, platinum uh, sponsor of the conference, uh, and the moderator for this discussion uh, is Ms. Zana Budima, uh, Zana Tabloku, sorry, uh, the CEO of Abdec. Uh, I'll pass the floor on to her. Uh, enjoy the discussion. Have a lovely day. Thank you, Dominic. <coughs> I am uh, really happy and proud to, to be uh, moderating this uh, panel, especially with all the women in, uh, in this panel. Uh, with me today is uh, Arjira Kadri uh, from Procredit, Procredit Bank, uh, Head of Business Development, uh, Ermira Kadriu from uh, uh, Gorenia Department Store, and uh, Donieta Saociu, uh, CEO and partner of uh, Rota Software Development Company. So uh, I, I think this topic is really a hot topic right now and uh, one of the main uh, discussions, uh, especially for businesses trying to, to sell, also uh, for, uh, for banks and for uh, development companies. So uh, let me start with, uh, with Arjira. Uh, can, you, uh, can you please tell us uh, about the development trends in uh, e-commerce and e-payments uh, from banks' perspective? Thank you, Zana. It's my pleasure uh, for me today to share with you my views uh, as part of uh, ProCredit Bank, the leading bank uh, for digital services in uh, Kosovo. We are all uh, living and working in the age of digitalization, if I may say so. So digitalization and um, technological advancements uh, are being part of our everyday lives. Uh, we are doing our daily tasks via technological or digital tools we are buying and selling via our digital tools today. Um, and it's not only the perspective of us as a private individuals. This high and uh, very fast and complex uh, digital environment has also uh, touched the business, business clients or small and medium businesses. So it reshaped the way that business and small and medium enterprises interact with their customers and with uh, their value chains. Today, if they do not embark uh, in this digital journey or in this electronic journey, then uh, they will have a disadvantage. But if they are part of this electronic journey, if they use digital services, then they will not only be uh, in line with the global trends of digitalization and electronic services, but they will also uh, add value to their business. Uh, they will enhance their um, productivity. They will boost their revenues by increasing their sales. Uh, they will increase their customer experience. And uh, for sure, they will be ahead of their competitors. And this is the idea, and this is uh, what we aim and what we are working on. If we um, uh, speak about the uh, Kosovo market, then um, as part of this market, we, we might uh, see or analyze that we are a young population, so youngest are youngsters are the ones that are mostly using these digital uh, services uh, and are part of this uh, electronic journey. But... Um, also, the, the other thing positive regarding the, the Kosovo market is the internet penetration. As, as you already know, we have 95% of our uh, private individuals have access in internet. Uh, and it's very high uh, percentage compared to other regional countries with 64 in Macedonia, 63 in uh, Bosnia and Montenegro and 64 in uh, percentage in uh, uh, Serbia. So we are ahead of these regional countries and uh, we should uh, use this. Uh, regarding online payments, e-commerce and e-payments, uh, the most profound development in banking system uh, are online payments. Uh, as you know, Kosovo has also a, a very modern uh, banking system. Uh, we offer the digital, as a banking s system, we offer all digital services that other regional and European countries do. 
Uh, on the other hand, how did private individuals and business embrace this development? Well, it's there's uh, pace for development, but still, uh, latest years have shown a very positive uh, increasing trend. We have um, now increased of 10% uh, of online payments done in, in Kosovo. It reached 30 million payments in 2019, which shows a yearly increasing trend uh, regarding online payments. Um, and on the other hand, we have all the banks in Kosovo uh, are offering online banking platforms like uh, our bank does. And uh, around 37% of account holders in Kosovo have access in these online banking platforms. So they use it uh, whenever they want, wherever they want. Um, in, in our case, for example, our account holders uh, are not only, do not only have a, an, a current account with a the bank, they also immediately are um, having a e-banking, an online uh, platform, and also a debit card. Uh, so they must embrace the uh, electronic development and digital, uh, our digital technology. Uh, the other thing uh, that had a positive impact in the uh, Kosovo market is also uh, payments by cards. So we have 1.3 million cards issued in Kosovo, debit and credit cards. And uh, this is like 10% uh, increasing for the last ten years, uh, five years. And it has a positive trend. And uh, it's also shown with uh, a POS terminals, uh, increase in number of POS terminals. We now have 14,000 um, POS terminals in Kosovo, which is quite high uh, compared with Albania and also Macedonia. Uh, and uh, an increasing trend, and it's all based in central bank uh, statistics, an increasing trend in the card payments done via these POS uh, terminals. While regarding uh, other online, so we have uh, digital payments, contactless payments developed in the market, and, and, and so on. Uh, Procredit Bank was uh, the bank that made and created a new environment regarding digital services. Uh, it, was, uh, it was a cutting edge technology brought in the banking system, which uh, is in line with with the development in the world. And um, we brought to our clients uh, digital services that would enable them to do their transactions uh, in a safe way, in a convenient way, and uh, in a simple way. And by doing this, like I said, whenever they want and from wherever they want. Uh, and this is it. This is where we stand. But uh, we, we discussed uh, earlier, before uh, beginning this uh, panel, uh, because some of some of the people don't know that uh, you can pay also by debit card, mm -hmm. because uh, previously in previous years uh, it you you could only pay with uh, credit, credit cards. Card. I'm talking about uh, credit cards in uh, Kosovo banks. So now uh, people can purchase uh, things with debit cards as well. Yes, online yes, payments. yes. Debit cards and credit cards issued in Kosovo now in the banking system can be used for buying, for purchasing, and doing online payments. Uh, and we're, we're talking uh, about also uh, buying in, uh, in foreign... International, uh, yes, yes. Okay. Thank you, Arjira. Uh, Ermira, from, from client's perspective, uh, can you tell yes. us a bit about uh, sales organization in your company? How do you manage sales? Uh, first, I want sales? to interact to uh, what Arjira said, that uh, digitalization is the new era, uh, even for us as a business or as a in client individually uh, as a client. Uh, we have been uh, part of ProCredit Bank for a while now and uh, always trying their new um, applications, whatever they issued or they launched, we, we were part of it. Uh, we had online um, channel since 2013 uh, from the first uh, merchant portal the, that they did in the beginning, which of course advanced from then until now very much, uh, if I may say so. Uh, also, um, e-payments and everything is the, the best thing that would ever happen to, to uh, businesses because now you do everything from the office. There's no need to wait in line or to wait uh, at, the, uh, at the bank. Uh, so basically, it helps uh, quite a lot businesses from this perspective. Uh, returning to the online, uh, to the e-shops uh, and, and so, um, this year showed that uh, you really need uh, to uh, 
have an online shop. If you want to survive or if you have to have a different channel of income, you really need to. Uh, physical stores, uh, they have its uh, benefits and everything, but the online one is the new uh, way or it's uh, something that is trend all over the world. So uh, in doing so, uh, we had to contribute and to, um, to purchase softwares to uh, to design the new website and everything in order to be aligned uh, with the customers uh, what they want and how to help them as much as possible uh, that's why this year from the the beginning before the pandemic started uh, we have already started to implement the new website uh, with a private or national company here and uh, also to link them with our, our main financial software in order to have the stocks uh, correctly on the website uh, so that uh, there's no uh, lack of stock or out of stock or something because as you know we have already also physical stores 11 department stores so uh, one minute is a big thing uh, so uh, one product could be sold immediately so uh, it was very crucial for us to link the softwares with the uh, website uh, and that's what we did and two months ago we launched 75 mall uh, for the customers um, with a public with a pro credit uh, on the back as a payment gateway um, until now for this whole year um, we only had eight uh, percent that people bought online with cards the rest was was mainly cash but we are hoping that for next year and the a year after this number to be increased uh, because uh, it's the the way that a living that we have to to do so I think it will increase but the customers need to get used to they need to to be trained uh, somehow even if it starts from businesses or from the banks or from individuals as themselves uh, we need to be trained how to purchase online or how to buy online and to to be sure that it's a secure way and it's in many ways, it's much better than going to the store and and so. But uh, they need to be trained uh, because technically everything is uh, just people need to get used to it. Yes, I, I I've noticed that uh, that trend as well uh, that uh, people are uh, are ordering online but still are hesitant to to pay, to pay with cash. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's why most of the businesses uh, they they have to offer them the the way of payment by cash so uh, mayb maybe they, they will uh, they will start uh, turning on uh, e-payments uh, only if the businesses doesn't allow them to to pay cash on upon delivery so th th this this should be done um, i'm talking in, in next year <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I, I told you earlier when we had the discussion that we tried to do something like that. We made some extra promotional prices just for people who oh pay no. by card. By card. Uh, but as I told you, as soon as yeah. it said only card uh, payment, yeah, then uh, yes, yes, it I kind know. of they hesitate and they do the process all over again and they select pay cash. Even if it's uh, no discount on those, they just want to pay cash. And that's why I said we need to learn uh, and to educate the customers. Yeah. Donieta, from from developer's perspective, uh, how how do you see the, the trend of uh, e-payments and e-commerce uh, during these years? I'm talking about pre-pandemic era. Yeah. Okay, so we can make a comparison before and after. Yeah. Uh, first, um, as Rota, we've been a technical partner of Procredit for the last decade. So I joined Rota uh, um, less than, a little less than uh, 10 years ago, and Procredit was uh, one of the top clients. So we still continue providing services for Procredit Bank. And we've kind of uh, followed them in this journey from the beginning. So a change of three websites maybe in the last 10 years and the upgrade of those, the chatbot recently, the way they integrate now the, the payment gateway. We had the forms now for businesses and private individuals so that they can apply and everything, do that through the website. So we completely understand uh, the processes and the type of information we needed and everything else with regards to the bank and how that worked. Uh, if we look at it from the business perspective then, and, and relating to what you just said, 
Um, yes, it is unfortunately still a low number of people that prefer to pay online. But as an agency, as a communications agency, as a software development agency, we are taught to uh, always believe that the clients uh, are no best and that the business should be flexible and agile to changing along with the client. So in this case, the business should understand and do more thorough analysis of its customers, especially the customer segmentation. So if you have a certain group of people or customers that do not prefer to buy online, then you have to reach out to them in a different way and then connect them in the future so they can go through the e-payment. So I believe that we as an agency, we as a software development, as an industry, along with the bank, have a lot of work to do with regards to increasing awareness. And I think this is how we would, should help businesses to uh, uh, maximize the use of tools, because tools exist. There are companies that know how to do things. There are banks that are willing and able to provide those services, but at the end it is the business and the business clients that need to be uh, trained, as, as you mentioned. And there's, it is very difficult to train your customers because you don't have access to them to train them. So you have to go through a lot of channels to uh, advocate for different uh, awareness raising uh, policies and letting them know that it is a safe way uh, try it. If it doesn't work, then you can return the, your product. So there are a lot of strategies that a business can do in order to attract that customer base. And I, I'm very sure and convinced that in the future this will be uh, even more easier. And I think this particular year has helped a lot of clients understand this. Even if they did not make the first step towards making a payment online, they understood that it's a matter of one to two years that they need to do it, you know? So they're preparing themselves to embark in this journey, as Arjira mentioned. Um, so in the last two, three years, we've been uh, blocked with a lot of requests from a lot of businesses uh, visiting us, writing to us, and wanting to be online. And that's a complete new process. So you cannot be online within one night you need to have a lot of homework done before you even go to the bank and ask for the permission to use the, the, their gateway. So, um, but I guess we will cover this uh, again uh, later on what the business should do before they go online. But as a, as a company, I'm very happy to see that um, the banking sector has, is improving and is, is um, helping businesses to be online. And they are at the end, in the next chain, there are also a lot of businesses that can deliver that service. And we together should help the businesses to be online in a more secure way so that they can see, uh, have a, a better return of investment because it takes a lot from the businesses to invest and be online. So it's not just the technology in the bank. So it's easy to get rolled out of deck or any other of the company that does it and choose a bank that supports you financially, but yet again, the business has to do a lot of organizational change in order to be able to do that. It's not just the platform yeah. that provides it, no, it's the, the, the mindset, yeah. the, yeah. everything else. Leave aside the mindset, it's also <laughs> the, the operations. operations are behind it. But it's one time thing. Uh, once you have everything, then it's easier. It's just a process yeah. that you have to follow and do it daily as you do on your daily business activities. Uh, but for us, it's uh, not only for us, but I guess for all the businesses, it's uh, a thing you have to, it's a must. Uh, and nowadays, uh, you need to have the online channel. Uh, otherwise, you are one step behind. Yeah. Well, it, also in my company, we, we also have an e-commerce platform. And uh, yeah, the problem is not with the, with the bank because you, you arrange the, the connection and everything it's it goes smoothly but mm -hmm. uh, it's the it's the business or the end client especially I'm talking about the small businesses they are uh, really hesitant to, in uh, in going online in selling online and uh, especially with uh, with this pandemic that happened uh, small businesses suffered a lot and uh, they they applied uh, for for implementation of e-commerce but when, when, when they try to, to use it, when, when they start uh, putting on uh, products, 
they, they say, like, it's, it's too much. I, I know it's a bit uh, too much, but uh, you do that one time. You put the product online, and then you, you only update the stock, etc., etc. So yeah. uh, in the beginning, it's, uh, it's a bit uh, hassle, but uh, it, it goes smoothly Small after. Path. And uh, you, have, uh, you have a better outreach, because uh, mm -hmm. from, from the shop, yeah, you have the physical location, and people come to your physical location. But even if for the physical sh uh, shop, uh, you have to do the entry of the, yeah. of the products. Yeah. So it's uh, like it's opening a new business uh, or a new exactly. brand somewhere yes. else. Let's say it's a new exactly. store for you. It's You're just that physically you don't have, you have it. have to go same thing. That's what I'm saying stock. to my clients. Yes. Making yeah. sure they are on shelves. You have prices all over them. So it's yes. basically the kind, the same scope of work you have to do. But yes. of course, on top of that, you need to make sure that you uh, accurately describe the products, accurately yes. have the pricing and everything else so that you do not scare away your clients because you've made some mistake in one of the product descriptions. Yeah. That, that's they why thought they were purchasing something and they get something else and it all uh, get confusing. Yeah. That's why we try to do an automatic from our, our main software that we use for our uh, offline stores together with the online so we have the same products all over, the same prices, the same description, so there's no confusion for the customers. Yeah. It's a I'm very happy that we have you as a panel here as a, as a case study because it's not rare that, uh, because there's this mindset that older businesses or businesses that have, that have been here physically for a longer time, they are not startups, uh, that they too can be digital even if they have two, three other softwares that use for finance, for stock management, inventory management and everything else. So it is possible also for you to connect this to a new e-commerce site and have no, them all uh, centralized. Yeah. Yes. Because we have a lot of hesitation sometimes from bigger clients that come and say, okay, we've been here for 20 years, 30 years, we've used these types of systems. So it's a lot of work for us to kind of do the same. So technically, there are options that we can, through an API, we connect them and we synchronize them. It, it, it is uh, so possible. It's, it's just, it, is possible. it takes some time in the beginning. Once you connect all of them, like the software with us, with a website, with a bank, it's like a circle, but once it's done, it goes smooth. Like, yeah. 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 Now, uh, I would turn to a pandemic era, which, <laughs> <laughs> which affected the, the yes. whole world. Uh, from bank's perspective, uh, have you noticed the, the, the increase of demand uh, in uh, e-payments? Uh, yes, and I would just relate with, uh, with Danieta and Ermira regarding the, uh, the, the behavior of, bus of business clients and also of private clients uh, regarding electronic services. So 99% of our transactions in the bank done from our business and private clients are in electronic channels. So it was not easy. Uh, it did take time, but it's now for se for last two years, it's it's this trend. So uh, we we promoted it. Uh, we discussed with the clients. We somehow raised the awareness of the benefits that electronic that electronic services have. And now 99% of our services are done uh, digitally. So via our electronic channels. As I said, we worked last years in this. Um, uh, direct banking concept and now our clients uh, and this concept fully responds with this technological advancements and development that uh, the world is going through uh, and we are uh, on a daily basis working discussing by our virtual branch with our clients and uh, explaining the benefits they have uh, and I will relate this also with our um, uh, concept regarding business clients. So we work in, uh, in house bank concept, which means that we want to meet all the needs that they have regarding services and uh, products, but always via our electronic channels. Mm -hmm. So we want to be a digital SME bank for the businesses in Kosovo. And uh, e-commerce is uh, one of the platforms that was developed in 2013 from our bank and first launched from our bank in the market. In the first years, we had to, to do a lot of work in the proactive uh, part. So discuss, uh, present, and, uh, and uh, raise awareness of the benefits of e-commerce and what is it, is it uh, this electronic commerce? Uh, and how should we embrace it not only as a um, uh, bank and as a business class, but what we should do uh, with our private individuals. And pandemic made the, uh, how to say, 
it opened our eyes. Yeah, <laughs> it's the hero. Yeah, the Swiss. <laughs> so it, uh, it made the switch, and now uh, and this this month we had an increase in demand from our business clients, from the SMEs in Kosovo, and also uh, transactions in e-commerce and buying and selling from increased. So we have more than. Th uh, 300 percent increase in transactions done by our uh, e-commerce platform and also uh, an increase uh, of number of uh, merchants that use now uh, e-commerce platform uh, and this number is in a daily basis increasing so we have uh, demands and also playing an active role in in uh, telling our clients and discussing with our clients what about the online sale channel in the first months of pandemic, we made a questionnaire with, our, uh, with more than 1,000 uh, business clients, so small and medium business clients, uh, regarding how they see pandemic, how, they, uh, how did pandemic situation find them and what will they do. Uh, in this, ca in this uh, regard, we learned a lot of, of their view and also maybe we, uh, we somehow made them, made them think of alternative channels. And uh, in, during these discussions, uh, made online, uh, we also found potential SME business clients that were um, ready to embrace e-commerce and uh, implemented it during this, uh, this month. And the trend is going on, but um, we, it's not easy to change the habit, but we will do it. We will bring innovation and we will uh, try to raise awareness in this regard. Thank you. Ermira, uh, from business perspective, uh, yes. were there any challenges in uh, implementing uh, e-payments, especially uh, uh, during example, pandemic? We already had them established, so for us it was a bit easier than most other businesses because we had everything in, in store, let's say we had everything. So uh, we considered online as uh, another store that we had because, as you know, for almost eight weeks we were closed, so none of our stores uh, were working besides the online. So um, from our own experience, uh, we faced a lot of challenges during that time because the orders increased dramatically. Uh, people had no other options where to purchase whatever they needed, essentially, let's say. Uh, that's, that's why uh, it made us realize and it made us see the mistakes or the we were lacking, so it helped us to uh, advance in those uh, issues. And uh, with Progredit on one side and uh, the website on the other, we made it through this pandemic. And uh, now the sales are going steady, uh, hopefully to increase for the next years and uh, people to get used to buy more online. And uh, also from business perspective, uh, have you, because uh, from banks' perspective, uh, there was a increase, 300 percent increase in uh, e-payments. Uh, was that increase uh, online? I'm talking about uh, 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 lockdown time. Th those eight weeks that we were locked, uh, locked down. Yes. Um, okay. We had an increase on uh, payments online, as I said, but it, it's a really a short, a small amount. Mm -hmm. uh, Online payments only eight percent. By if we say in store after we opened and so on now, uh, we have thirty percent uh, of our sales are made by cards that people purchase by cards in our store. So it's it's a good good number. Uh, hopefully it will increase uh, because now customers have no uh, interests on the payments or anything. So for them it's easier. It's cash anyways by card or yeah. cash. For them it's cash. Uh, as from the bank, uh, we have a lot of services that they offer us as a, as a business. Uh, the drop boxes that they have, the payments that we can do, utilities, everything is done online. So basically, we never go to the, go there. Uh, they never see us, we never no. see them. <laughs> it's just when we need them for some contracts or something. Otherwise, all the services are done online. And, and it's a good thing. I, I should say to everybody that uh, all the services that uh, are provided are helpful. Yeah, I think everyone should embrace technology. And yeah, <laughs> true that. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> the bag uh, in the pocket. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Donieta, from, uh, from developer perspective, uh, 
from pandemic, have you had the increase in uh, requests from other businesses in implementation of uh, e-commerce? Yeah, so in the beginning of the pandemic, we had uh, an increase of interest and demand, but it was mostly just questions. So, okay, we're in this, because people then, in the beginning, we did not know how uh, long it's going to last. So people were thinking two, three months, and then, you know, uh, let me just find out as a business the, uh, what should I need to take uh, care of so that I can have it in the next five, six months. Uh, I, was, I was happy to see that the clients that showed interest uh, understood that you cannot do uh, uh, the, the online store within one month, you know. Um, and they, was, uh, uh, they were reluctant in understanding the, the benefits and, and uh, what they should do. Uh, so we had an increase in demand, but it's, I, I should say, after June, July, then we had a more uh, number yeah, of so people much. that uh, kind of just wanted to start immediately, you know, and then we had to plan production for each of them for some time and go into details of what they should need and et cetera, et cetera. So, one of the key challenges we have as a business uh, in order to helping them become online and go online is uh, making them understand their customer base and understanding that not all businesses must be online. So if you are a business that sells shoes in a city in Kosovo mm -hmm. and uh, you have traffic because you're maybe positioned in a, in a, uh, uh, a sidewalk somewhere that people just walk by you and people have known you for years that you're there and they come to your store, you cannot assume that the same traffic you're gonna have online. And I think it also relates to, to your store. So you, luckily you were online bef uh, so just a bit before the pandemic started. But yet again, there is a challenge of, of uh, uh, channeling the whole traffic you have in the physical store to go on your online store. Uh, it, it takes a lot of effort for the business to do a lot of digital marketing, a lot of search engine optimization mar marketing, and to make sure and to use a lot of other channels in order to bring the traffic. So uh, that is one of the main concerns because you can go online, you have the system, you have the bank, okay, you go over the homework of uh, making a photo of all your products and uh, writing down a description for each and putting prices and uh, finding a partner for your delivery service uh, so for, because that is also a very important part of the whole chain because as a business you, you might be very good with your e-commerce but if your partner that delivers doesn't do a good job then you're indirectly also impacted by that. So it's a chain of a, a lot of factors that, that help this. Um, but the traffic is the most important thing to understand. It's not as easy as opening a store. We had a panel yesterday that was talking about having it in, within a shopping mall yeah. or having it in a, in a place that a lot of people uh, just go for coffee or they, they just walk by. So online, you need to do a lot of promo promotion that you exist online. So it's establishing awareness that first you are online and then secondly, convincing them that it's the same as you're entering and visiting our store is the same that you're entering and visiting us online. So we are the same company, the same team, the same everything, but it is now online. So it takes time. And I think businesses just should be more patient towards uh, seeing the benefits of having an e-commerce online uh, and uh, doing the, the homework uh, that it needs to, to kind of move forward. I foresee that in the next two, three years, we're going to have a complete new, new, new surface. So we're going to have a, a lot of new startups that just started online. They didn't exist before. Yeah. So then we'll have this, this uh, balance of uh, new companies and old companies, and they will all compete for the traffic. You know? And then uh, this competition is very uh, useful for the businesses because it helps them grow from inside. So training, increasing human resources, and, and identifying what, what makes you different than the rest. And I think the strategic mindsets of understanding your customers, understanding why you exist as a business, and why a certain person or a, another business somewhere else needs your services, then it helps you uh, strategically 
outline the whole platform you should have online. So as a company, we are more now focused on this consultancy and strategic way of thinking, uh, and not just for today. Because there's a tendency to have the option go online and then uh, uh, not mind that much about the next uh, phases and steps. Because it will not be an option, uh, as exactly. we discussed. It will be a must if you want to survive and if you want to be part of this market. Yes, yes. I, I, I see that in my clients as well, uh, especially for the, for the traffic. Uh, I, I think now businesses that started, they, they should really work uh, towards uh, reaching out because it, it's online. Everybody can, can go into your website and buy something. So you, you only have to, to push the marketing, to, to push the, the digital uh, marketing, because you, you can sell 24-7. And uh, in physical store, you, you, you have, uh, for example, you, you work from 8 to, to 10 or something, but it's closed. And mm -hmm. in online, that, that, that's, that what, that's what uh, some businesses are hesitant to, to do that. And when they implement it and uh, they don't have sales, they, they, they start complaining about, mm. yeah, I don't, I don't get too much sales on that. Yeah, because you have to, to, to channel the, the, Tra the traffic over there now. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you tell about the local store, but you still have to, to channel the traffic. But uh, how do you, <laughs> how do you see how the, the future? future? <laughs> how do you see the future of e-commerce? Uh, yes, like, like you said, so it goes this way. The main thing is to understand it. The main thing is to understand that uh, this, this electronic part, this digital world, is reshaping the way we live, the way we work, the way we do transactions. Uh, the world around us is moving fast, so uh, technological advancements and development uh, is um, uh, unstoppable. And uh, we should understand it uh, if, we want, if we want to be part of it. Um, s countries like Sweden have 1% uh, transactions done, uh, not online, so with cash. Mm -hmm. And our goal is cashless. Other countries too, Denmark, France, United Kingdom, they have 70% of their transactions done via uh, online uh, channels, via electronic channels. So uh, we, are, we see the world, we see the development. Uh, we will continue bringing innovation. We will continue trying to change the habit, uh, to uh, talk, discuss, to promote uh, the benefits of electronic uh, services the benefits of buying online uh, because it's efficient, it's convenient, it's very simple, and it's secure. Uh, most of all, it's secure, and we, we should um, send this message to, to all private individuals and uh, business clients, too. And we will continue doing it. The future is online, so... That's where we are heading. <laughs> we are heading there. <laughs> yes. Uh, Ermira, uh, do you think that... Uh, this trend will, will go on, will increase uh, even after pandemic. Uh, uh, I think online yes. payment trend. Once the trend. customers get used to something that is easy and beneficial for them, they will continue to do it. Uh, that's why uh, for the next years, uh, even though at the moment we have more than 5,000 products on our uh, online store, we want to increase to the apparel and shoes, which is completely different nature and it's much harder than those products that we are currently offering because of the sizes or if it fits, it doesn't fit. Mm. Uh, you, have, you might have a lot of returns and then it's a different process. Uh, that, that's why for the next years, new challenges are on our way, but uh, we want to have everything uh, on our store as we have on our physical stores. Nita, I think you and me both are gonna gonna have a lot a of lot requests. Of <laughs> yeah, a lot of business. That's good for us. Yes, the whole industry, uh, definitely. Um, but also, on the other hand, we will have a lot of responsibility to educate the new generation, because it's going to be a new generation of businesses that, for the first time, are going to understand what online is. And, and I mentioned the generation of businesses that didn't, didn't exist before the pandemics. So the pandemics opened a lot of new opportunities and new business ideas. 
a new delivery idea, uh, businesses that do now delivery. We had yesterday McMick, which is a delivery uh, mail del delivery service. So, so um, and also um, the opportunity for other companies to come in and to help the businesses go digital. So there's a lot of intermediary services that the businesses cannot do themselves. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's room and potential for new business ideas uh, going on and that will gonna be digital only. Mm -hmm. uh, the future is definitely digital. We've said that over and over again and I'm, we're hap very happy to see that now happening. Uh, we've been predicting as an industry and talking about this and, and advocating for also now we don't yet have the, the national domain and everything else. We're happy to see the infrastructure being improved. I remember uh, uh, in the days where um, you could not receive international transfers because of the IBAN, IBAN, SWIFT codes and everything else. They could not find you as a business online. Now they do, they don't have an option. So we've gone a long way. But I, I think, uh, again, that there's a lot to be done and it's our responsibility as a community to help businesses embark in this journey and to uh, be a facilitator. Um, we have a lot of cases that businesses don't go to the bank to ask the questions. So the bank needs to uh, advocate also to the companies, so the, the ICT industry, so that they, because they are the door, at the end of the day, businesses come first to us, then they, uh, they go to the bank. So they come to us and say, okay, what do I need to go online? And then we are the ones that tell them, okay, which bank do you use? Do you know that you have to go through this process, go to your bank, visit, uh, they have the payment gateway. They don't understand how it works. So and they always ask, okay, do you have to, do, to uh, have a new agreement? Is that done within one day or not? So we kind of also uh, uh, play the role of a sales people for the banks because yeah. we kind of send them over to the bank and uh, there's the checklist that the bank as us as a company need to go through because in order to get the license and the permission from the bank to integrate the payment gateway in uh, the system we develop. So this, this chain and this triangle needs to cooperate more mm -hmm. and in order to facilitate the, new, the newcomers. Uh, I think uh, our time for closing has come. Uh, thank you everyone for, for watching us. Uh, heroes that we all needed are female now. <laughs> <So> <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.